Good evening everyone. Um, getting a late vlog in today, kind of like last night, unfortunately. Um, and tonight what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to record on two different cameras. I've got camera one and camera two. Um, I'm actually going to use my iPad as a camera. And see, let's see if I can... is causing problems so let me I've got my Canon G7X and I've got my iPhone X both on tripods both at different angles what I can see very clearly from here is that the Canon is way brighter the light is like very different to um, the iPhone, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, I'm going to try and sync things, but let's see. So what I want to talk about today is something that's been um, a topic with uh, some of my colleagues, um, which is hybrid versus native um, apps. And I think the only real question that we really need to ask here is ultimately, who is our target audience? Um, I think that people out there have got their opinions one way or another, um, which is the best for them. And I think in more advanced countries, um, first world countries, I think that apps are fine if you've got the budget for it, makes perfect sense. Um, you know, as long as you don't try and shove too much in there, I think that the... So, yeah. So, the native... Um, solutions great it's worked it's secure it uses the phone's features but I don't think any more than what programs um, that actually go and create a container and you pull in the web version which is the hybrid um, app. so what I um, the, the reason why I say that what really matters is just who are your target audience and where are they? And I mean, I live in South Africa and out, outside of our own country, we would be focusing on the rest of Africa. That's the new market that everybody is interested in. And so you really want to look at, you know, what sort of phones or what sort of devices do these countries have? And it's not smartphones. And I know everybody thinks that, yes, you can now get really cheap smartphones and everybody has, but no, feature phones are still the biggest phones. And, um, you know, when you get out to some of these areas, even even the, the, the smartphones that are there, these cheap ones, they, they can't handle the apps that people are putting out there. They're just too big. There's no room on these phones. They're hard to download, to update all the time and everything. So a better solution, in my opinion, would be hybrid. There's a couple of reasons for this. One is the cost to develop, right? You're gonna, no matter what you do, you, should, you shouldn't even have a website if you don't have a responsive website. So I believe put all your money into making the best responsive uh, website possible. possible. Then I, I would say from there you go, cool, let's get it onto these devices using a container uh, in a hybrid, hybrid um, platform. And that it really takes away a lot of the development costs because you really are just focusing on a responsive website, which you should do anyway, regardless of whether you have native or not. And then it's just going, well, now we only have to do this and it works on multiple devices, no matter what the operating system. So you're reducing the, the spend on development, which is huge. The other thing is then how much data do you use? 
Well, most people, if they want to access something, are willing to at least go into a browser and look for that information. And if your app is at a minuscule size to download from the, uh, the appropriate um, app store, then you really are just pulling in the web pages. And if they're done right, um, and they're cached, and they're ready for that specific market, that local market, then, you know, it, it, it should be, data should be at a minimum. Um, the other solution that's out there is USSD, but let's not focus on that because I think it's a whole other conversation, but USSD is definitely something that is highly adopted and would definitely have reach. And the whole thing about Africa, the whole Africa play is a numbers game. You don't have some high-end market there where, you know, these aren't rich people that live uh, throughout Africa. This is a very, very low-end market, but it's about building platforms for uh, these people that integrate into their life and um, where you service them better and you just add that layer of banking or insurance or whatever it is that, you, that your business is um, focused on. So, yeah, you, you really shouldn't kind of go the native route. It's, it's going to take you a lot of time to get out in market and all things. You know, the, using the responsive website means that you can build one site. If it's componentized, it can be built, you know, in, in these components and then set up by each individual country, you know, which again, you know, sometimes I, I hear these people and they go, no, we've got to have a different website for this country and that country. And the truth is, outside of some language things, uh, maybe some compliance things, um, regulatory kind of requirements, whatever, there's really not that much. It should be the same banking experience no matter where you are in the world. So, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, you can see the benefits in going, hey, let me build one site that can be consumed through a browser or through a hybrid app platform, which is quick to download from, from uh, an app store. So hopefully that sheds a little insight on my view. Um, something that I am trying tonight is I've changed the um, filter that I'm using over my video because I feel that the filter that I had was kind of very warm and lovely and it's actually from the movie. Um, and, uh, After editing my vlog and, and actually trying to use the two different camera angles, what became really apparent to me is that the Canon shoots way better in low light and there's way more noise and the color is very orange inside the iPhone video. And I really like the iPhone video during the day, but at night time, I'm really impressed with the Canon. So this whole thing, I've actually removed the filters that I that I wanted to put on because it just looks so weird switching between the two. And this is, I'm gonna have to like figure out how you get the color to be the same. So if anybody's got some advice for me, please um, leave a comment below. So yeah, thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool